Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Captain Ashita and I welcome you back to License to Fly. This is a talk show where we break down all there is to know about becoming a pilot with industry's most celebrated pilots and aviation veterans. And if you dream about becoming a pilot, you're at the right place. So fasten your seat belts and get ready to take off. Welcome to episode 3 of License to Fly. In the previous episode, we discussed about Indigo's cadet pilot program and what goes on in the training phase. If you haven't watched it, do it today. Let's begin from what happens after you graduate from the training school and how does one transition from flying the smaller aircrafts to the big jets. And discussing the nitty gritty of the same at a level that only a handful can, we have a very special guest with us today. Please welcome Captain Vikram Singh, our Deputy Chief Pilot Training Indigo. He has over 37 years of experience and over 22,000 hours under his belt. Welcome to the show, Captain. Thank you very much, Asita. It's a privilege being here. All right, let's get going. Captain Vikram, in the previous episode, we talked to Captain Rajiv Halla about Indigo's Premier Cadet Pilot Program. In today's episode, I'd like to pick it up from there. In fact, it was very insightful and I'd be very happy to answer all your questions today. Great. Let's begin with what happens after you complete your Indigo Cadet program. Well, once you complete your cadet program and you have a seatbelt in hand, you will be sent to one of our approved type rating centers. Could be Bangkok, Delhi, Bangalore, London. Before we go further, let me quickly explain what type rating is. Different aircrafts have distinct designs and unlike cars, where one is almost identical to the other in operation, each aircraft requires specific training due to variation in systems, procedures and emergency handling. That is why type rating is absolutely crucial in mastering a particular type of aircraft. By types, we mean aircraft models like Airbus 320, Boeing 737 and ATR. And for an Indigo Cadet pilot, that means obtaining an A320 rating from the aviation authorities. Is that right, Captain Vikram? You're absolutely right, Ishita. So, Captain Vikram, you were talking about Indigo-approved type rating centres. What happens once the cadets are there? Once they're there at the type rating centres, they undergo rigorous training to transition onto the Airbus 320. There's a 96-hour ground school, wherein they learn the ins and outs of how to operate the Airbus 320. So it also includes cockpit layout, emergency procedures, normal procedures and flows. So Captain Vikram, could you elaborate on what the training entails? At the training centre, the cadets first move on to a fixed pace simulator before graduating onto a full motion simulator. So Shita, on a fixed pace simulator, they practice their flows, get used to the layout and improve their system knowledge. Then there's the exam. On clearing the exam, you now experience flying a full motion simulator. Well, simulators are fun, but before we move forward, let me quickly explain the difference between a fixed pace simulator and a full motion simulator. While a fixed pace simulator does not move, that is, it's static, a full motion simulator is a replica of the Airbus 320 cockpit literally sitting on hydraulic jacks and it moves the sim in response to pilot inputs, mimicking the feel of flying an aircraft in real. Let me give you an example. Let's say we're sitting in a car simulator. A fixed simulator is like sitting in a stationary car with realistic controls and a wide view of the virtual road ahead. It accurately mimics the driving experience, but the car itself doesn't move. The full motion simulator takes the experience to another level. It's like being in a car on a thrilling roller coaster ride. It gives you a sensation of acceleration, turning and braking. It makes you feel like you're truly in the heart of the action. Absolutely right. On this simulator, now you practice takeoffs and landings, handling emergency procedures, flying in all weather conditions such as monsoons, low visibility. Thereafter, you undergo a day and night check in the simulator. On clearing that, you are now cleared as an A320 type rated pilot. You know what's interesting about the Airbus 320? A pilot uses a side stick to fly the airplane instead of the traditional control column as seen in the movies. It's a fully fly-by-wire aircraft, which makes it truly remarkable. In fact, all the modern Airbus aircrafts use a side stick. 
In fact, there's a movie called Sully, I'm sure you've seen it, which is based on a real life event where the pilot lands the aircraft on a river after having lost both the engines. And if you notice, he is using the side stick mechanism. It's a must watch for all the budding pilots. The maneuver is called ditching, where you land the aircraft on water in emergency. Speaking of emergencies, Captain Vikram, in all these years of flying, has there been a scary moment, a moment you cannot forget? It is based on something like this, something what we're talking about. We were flying from uh, Chennai to Dubai in the middle of the night. It was an Airbus 321, heavily loaded aircraft. And we were, climbing, we were cruising at an altitude of 39,000 feet, wherein I lost an engine. And I was 580 miles from Karachi and 573 miles from Muscat. We had to come down to a flight level of 17,000 feet and it was very scary because it was over water and we were far from Muscat and far from Purachi on a single engine. But uh, my crew was excellent and they did a great job along with me. So that is one of the events I'll never forget. Losing an engine? That must be something. That is why we say flying is not easy. It requires immense training and awareness. Getting back to type rating, Captain, what after that? So once your CPL is endorsed with a C20 rating, you're called to the Indigo office for an induction program. It's a two-day program where you sign up and become an Indigo employee. This is a very important day and exciting day for our cadets. And there's something more exciting within these two days that happens. Can you guess what? I'm not sure, Captain Victrum. Uniforms. Oh yes, of course. How can I forget? On to my next question. What happens after pilots have their type rating credentials? Where do they go from there? So once the induction formalities are completed, they are split into batches and they start their junior first officer training. This is extensive training on technical knowledge, system knowledge, performance, procedures, policies specific to Indigo. This phase of training takes approximately 54 days. And finally comes the big day. The graduation day. Yes, absolutely. And this is a monumental day where our cadets adorn their prestigious Indigo stripes. It's a ceremony where the cadets can have their loved ones and family members witness them rise above the ordinary. Sounds amazing. Do you remember the first day you wore the stripe? What was it like? It was a very long time back, uh, Shita, but I do remember that I was very proud of myself that day and I never took them off for the next two days. I so resonate with that. Right, so what after graduation? Straight to the 320? Of course, Shita, and now straight to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was that easy, but now there's another revision on simulator training and learn skills which are done on regular simulators. And now you get allotted to a base wherein you start your line flying once your line released. You also have a certain orientation program where they take you to the airport facilities to flight dispatch to see how flights are dispatched and what is where. So I'm sure many are wondering when does the flying start? So the first time that you actually fly an A320 is when you do your base training with a qualified instructor. And this is done during the day or at night with an empty aircraft with no passengers. You practice takeoffs and landings and polish your skills. That's the first time you fly the A320. And now comes the exciting moment of piloting a commercial flight, but under the supervision of an experienced trainer who acts as a captain. This stage of training is called supervised line flying. So it trains you to operate the Airbus 320 according to company standards. A new chapter in your life begins now as a pilot. After the final release check, you are now ready to operate a commercial flight on a regular basis. It is truly a remarkable feat to be line released in an airline. How about you, Captain Vikram? Do you remember your first flight? I do, and I still remember my first flight was to Mangalore, and that was in way back on the 737s in 1988 as a commercial pilot. That was a memorable flight for me. I can never forget that. And I'm sure all the pilots, budding pilots today, will never forget their first solo for that matter. I can't agree more. So what about you, Ishita? Well, my first flight um, as a first officer was 16 years back. Uh, it was Delhi, Cochin. I remember vividly. 
uh, it was a mixed pack of feelings. I was nervous, uh, naturally excited, and very, very keen on learning more. I'm sure. What an interesting chat it has been, Captain. And before I let you go, one last thing, one piece of advice for our budding pilots. My advice for the budding pilots would be: it's very easy to get your stripes, but keeping them on is a big challenge. So please stay focused and keep in touch with your books forever. That's my advice to the budding pilots today. Thank you, Captain Vikram, for being so candid about all my questions and sharing your knowledge. It was great talking to you. Thank you so much for being here, Captain. Likewise, uh, Shweta. Thank you so much for having me on the show. All right. With this, we come to the end of episode three of License to Fly. I trust you now understand how one goes from being a student pilot to becoming a junior first officer at Indigo. But hold on, don't leave your seats just yet. You can share your comments and questions with us in the comment section below, or connect with us on our various social media channels. If you're a CPL holder with or without type rating, make sure to check out Indigo's career page for some exciting opportunities. Very soon, I'll be taking you on another educational flight, delving into the world of pilots and planes. You may now unfasten your seatbelts and head for the exit. This is Captain Ishita signing off.